Hey everybody, how are you? Jim here at the Pain PT. Good to see you guys today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel to grow and I'll keep sharing this free information for all of you. If you're interested in learning more about my work or want to sign up for my group classes, uh, we're starting another month here this week, uh, weekly classes or individual consultations, go to my website, thepainpt.com. Uh, today, we're going to talk about What's the first step to change? What's the first step to change? Especially when it comes to a mind-body condition, when it comes to these conditions that are in the body, but created by the mind. Take a guess, what's the first step to change? Well, it starts from the mind, right? It is a mind-driven change because most of our work here is at the mind level, which then filters down to the body level. So the first step to change is awareness. Becoming aware or becoming conscious of what's going on. Okay, that's your first step. So without awareness, without consciousness, without recognition or seeing what's going on, it's very difficult to change. And I'm gonna explain that a little bit here. When you're in the middle of your pattern, when you're in the middle of your mind, meaning you're running by your programs, you're running by your unconscious mind, you are driven by these thoughts, you're driven by these impulses, you're driven by these behaviors, you're driven by these symptoms and emotions. Again, all that is driven from an unconscious level of your brain, subconscious, all right? So that's the part of your brain, we, we call that the limbic brain, that's the part of the brain that is unconscious, subconscious, works in its own way, and is working off of your entire life up to this point. And it's working off how it typically works off, which is very much reactive, instinctive, and protective. Okay, so what it's trying to do is to, to serve a purpose, and it's just running the programs and patterns that we've accumulated. And if you can imagine a lot of people with chronic pains and chronic symptoms in the body, they've had had accumulated things in their lives from early onset childhood trauma, early uh, childhood uh, adverse events, um, PTSD, um, certain situations that would have affected them, brought on anxiety, high levels of stress. And all these things can kick up instantaneous reactions in your brain, in your mind, in the form of thoughts. Um, how many of you guys are dealing with intrusive thoughts? dealing with anxious thoughts, dealing with catastrophic thoughts, dealing with doomsday thoughts, dealing with despair thoughts, okay, and other negative thoughts. How many of you are aware of these thoughts? Are you aware that you're having these thoughts? Okay, there's a separation where we can bring in awareness. Here's the thought. Here's the emotion. Here's the symptom, okay? Here's what's happening in yourself. And then here's you, here's awareness. Awareness is able to see this. What's this? What's this? What this is, is awareness. Awareness is your first step to see what this is, what's going on. Otherwise, if without, if you just have this, again, this represents thought, emotion, symptom, anything that's unconscious happening in you, a pattern, and without awareness, this drops away, then you become this. You are this, you are driven by this, you are controlled by this. Okay, there's no way out of it because that means you are that. You are the pattern, you are the trait, you are the emotion, you are the thought, you are the symptom, you are the behavior. So awareness allows you to come in again and say, okay, I see what's going on here. I am aware of it, I'm conscious of it now. I notice it, I perceive it. What is it? Oh, it's anxiety. As an anxious thoughts coming in. Yeah, I'm stepping out of them now. So when you have awareness that leads you to further steps, okay, to take, the first step is awareness that you're having something like obtrusive thoughts, anxious thoughts, some type of negative thinking, self-limiting beliefs, nocebo beliefs, things that aren't serving you, that aren't true, but because you're not aware of them, you're just going along with them. You're believing them at some level, maybe even piling onto them with further thoughts and ideas of the same nature, which as you can tell, will just amplify or make or prolong what's going on. 
And that's the same thing with emotions. If you're not aware of your emotions, you are the emotion. If somebody, let's say, for example, anger is not aware, they might blow up, lose control, hence the term blind rage. If somebody's taken over by fear and anxiety and they're not aware, well, they'll, sh they'll run away. They'll shut down. They'll, they'll protect. They'll guard. Okay. Now, the brain is going to produce that boom, 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 real fast. Produce the thought. Can't stop it. Produce the emotion. Can't stop it. Produce the symptom. Can't stop it can't stop it. But the awareness allows you to step in, allows you to make an evaluation with an understanding of what's going on here. Okay. It allows us to stay in line in that what I would call the cortical region of your brain, the frontal lobe is able to decipher what's going on here. So important. Otherwise, I can't tell you how many people are taken over by their anxiety, taken over by their emotions, taken over by their thoughts, taken over by their symptoms and their behaviors, okay? So can you become aware? Your first step is building this awareness at a higher level where you can see your own patterns of, how, of what's happening in your mind, which again, comes into your body. You can see what's going on. You can see your thinking. You can become aware of these bad thoughts, negative thoughts, intrusive thoughts, catastrophic thoughts, anxious thoughts, and separate again, from them and say, yep, that's an anxious thought. Yep, that's a catastrophic thought. Yep, that's not helping me. Okay, now there's, there's a separation with the awareness. And we also use awareness for not just noticing and catching thoughts, emotions, symptoms, behaviors, patterns. We use it when we do somatic work. Okay, so I teach some of that on the channel here where we do that when we do somatic tracking or somatic awareness, somatic releasing, however you want to call it there's also an awareness there too. We're dropping into an aware conscious state, which is an observant state. We become an observer, a noticer, a witnesser of the experience. And in that, in that awareness there, we are not doing anything because we are teaching the brain through a different way that we're safe, that we're sound, that we're okay, all right? We also can use awareness to shift our nervous system from a fight or flight sympathetic state into a more relaxed, restorative, parasympathetic state. So we can use awareness to catch where we are, what we're doing, make some shifts, take some actions, respond with self-talk, choose, make conscious choices. So it leads to further things downstream, subsequent steps after the awareness. But I really want to hone in on this today that first I want you guys to build your awareness to what's going on in yourself, to your own nature, your own patterns, your own thoughts, your own emotions, your own behaviors, your own patterns, all this stuff. And see if you can build that capacity so that you're catching and noticing and being able to step out of the unconscious mind. Okay. Because when we live in the unconscious mind, well, just like it sounds, you're unconscious. You're living in an unconscious world driven by your past, driven by your patterns, driven by all these things I just mentioned. So guys, the first step to change, awareness. Did a video on this many, probably three, four years ago, I don't remember. First step to change is awareness. Say the same thing today. First step to change is awareness, aware of what's going on. Hey, this is TMS. This isn't a physical problem. Boom, that was born out of awareness. Okay, so awareness can be a lot of things like I mentioned today, but let's see if you guys can keep building that capacity to become more aware. And at that point, there's separation. Awareness leads to separation. It leads to a choice. It leads you to be able to choose something consciously. And that's the key there. All right, guys, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, pass the word around. Again, if you're looking for support, I offer weekly group sessions, which have been going really well. I also offer individual consultation and coaching work with people. So you can find more about that and you can sign up on my website at thepainpt.com. We'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.